Okay, we're going to talk about installing full stop wedding front detectors. Now we install them as pairs, a shallow one and a deep one. The shallow one has the yellow indicator and the deep one the red, so you always know which is which when they're buried. Um, the depth you place them is really important. We'll deal with that in another video, and so is the placement. Uh, for example, uh, if you a furrow irrigating and the water's just coming down a furrow, then you need to place your detector uh, on the edge of the bed so the water infiltrates dead above it. If you're irrigating with a drip line, you need your detector to be right underneath the dripper so the water is infiltrating exactly above your wedding front detector. Now after you've built your detector, you need to check that there's no leaks, so you need to pour water in it and just check that there's no water seeping out at this join here. Uh, if that's okay, then you need to uh, fill it with sand, the filter sand you get. You fill it with sand uh, so that you're just, uh, you've got sand just above the, the black locking ring, so it covers the ring. And uh, then you can add some more water to make sure the sand all sinks down to the bottom of the stem of the funnel. Now the best thing to install a wedding front detector is two augers. There's actually a 20 centimeter big one there for the wide end of the funnel and a 5 centimeter narrow auger here for the narrow end. If you don't have augers then you can use a spade uh, and uh, you need a trowel as well to dig the the small hole to take the narrow end of the funnel. So I'm going to install this detector now in this spot. So we're installing for drip irrigation. The dripper is there. I'll move it aside. Okay, now I've dug the hole for the wide part of the funnel. Now I'm just going to dig a narrow hole for the, the narrow end of the funnel. I want to place this wedding front detector at 30 centimeters depth. What that means is 30 centimeters from where it measures, which is about this point, to the soil surface. Now I, I already know that this ridge here on the float housing when that's at the soil surface, I'm 30 centimetres down. So I've got a built-in measuring system on the detector. So I'm going to place it down the hole. And you can see that this is my, my ridge. And so that's about at the surface. And I'll just make sure it's straight. Right, so now I'm, I'm continuing to pack... I've got it straight and I'm continuing to, to pack soil underneath the rim of the funnel so that it's tightly in place. The funnel's being filled up at the same time. And now I want to pack the soil down on top of the funnel. Just punching it in. Pressing it in. Right, so the dripper is now above. Let's make sure the soil is flat so that the water drips straight down, doesn't run away from the site. If the soil sinks here a bit over time, then you can always add a little bit more so that the surface is, uh, is flat around the detector.